wrist, three smooth, you know, motions like that. Keep them nicely ready. And then this Agni Pradyukshana uh, offering water around. So there is a, another, uh, I'll bring my spoons, my set of spoons tomorrow. There are actually five different spoons and different functions. So there's one that's just looks like this, but it's cut off here, mm -hmm. the short version. So you can use that to pour the water. Otherwise, what we used to do was simply use the Ashman cup. There's water on this side, that side, that side, and all around. What's that for? Water. Uh, it's right, straight, it's left, all around. Right, straight, left, it's given here. Offer water. Yeah, there's a the explanation oh. is here. So you look on page 168 in your book. There's Ajya Samskara purifying the ghee that we just did. Shruva Samskara purifying the spoons that we just did. <coughs> Uddha Kanjali Seka. Oh, that's this one. It's getting permission, taking blessings for performing the like Page 170. So you can look it up. How to, uh, what, there's a mantra actually you chant for each of these times you offer the water. It's like getting permission to, blessings for performing the sacrifice, page 170. <coughs> okay, so now we've done all those things. Everyone should still be chanting Maha Mantra while you do all that, but because I'm explaining it, so we didn't, we just, uh, you know, did the actual rituals without chanting. So once that's done, then you're ready to actually start, and officially start the Yajna. And we'll just follow exactly this procedure that's here, which means we'll chant Ombur, Swaha, and then we'll, we'll do the full Mangalaya chant. So, today we'll, we'll just chant the entire Mangalaya chant, the whole verses together, because we all know it. And then at the end, there's a Swaha, and for each mantra, there's a different personality. Like for Om Ajnana Timirandasya, you'll see Swaha Idam Gurave. It's a mantra for the spiritual master. So, where we'll chant Swaha, Idam Gurave, Idam Namama. And similarly, for each of the each of the mantras in the Mangalachan, there's a different ending. It's a different personality worship through that mantra. No. <coughs> Alright, so, so by now I'll be ready with my the smaller spoon. So, you want to also not drip too much ghee. So you can fill it up at the beginning of the mantra and just wipe it there so the ghee doesn't drip off, especially when it's, uh, you know, we have a long distance to go, it can drip all the way. Sometimes even like the fire follows the ghee and it comes backwards towards the pot and up the wall even if you drip a lot of ghee. So better to just be neat. This is a kind of a nice, simple way to hold the spoon. You know, you don't want to hold it clumsily or awkwardly. You hold it like this. Alright, let's just start. Om Bhur Swahai Nam Nishnave Nam Namama Om Bhur Swahai Nam Chutai Nam Namama Om Swahai Swahai Nam Narayana Narayana Nam Namama Om Bhur Bhur Swahai Nam Nantai Nam Namama So here's quite quite a distance between the fire and me, so I have to put a bit more energy to reach the flames. Uh, on the smaller corners, you can just easily pour on top of the fire. So, say if we're doing a particular samskara, this is the point now where we would do that mantra for that samskara. Uh, today we're not, we'll do that probably on Wednesday, Thursday. So we'll just go straight into Mangalacharan here. It's mentioned here, you can refer to Satkriya to perform each samskara, particular samskara ritual. Uh, so then we'll just do Mangla Charan, since we all know it already, it makes it easier. That's one of the reasons actually we started the mantra class with Mangla Charan, so we could be ready for this, uh, this Yagyas. So let's channel all together. Oh. Oh.
This was initiation yoga, then you chant your spiritual, or not your spiritual master's mantra, but whoever is the spiritual master of doing oh. the ceremony, you'll chant his pranam mantra. Okay. Some of them have one pranam mantra, some have two pranam mantras. If there's more than one spiritual master, you can do both of their mantras. Uh, if there are lots, I uh, think it doesn't happen in this one anymore, but like I was saying on Gopurni Day, there used to be 10 12 spiritual masters there. So they would just chant Namo Vishnupadaya and then. Uh, at the end, say Sri Mate Jai Padaka Swami Niti Namine, Sri Mate, you know, Tamang Krishna Go Swami Niti Namine. Not doing the whole mantra again and again because it was there are too many of them. So just doing the ending separately. Do we tell the audience to repeat the, this mantra uh, the long? Yeah, yeah, they know. Yeah, but we're not actually doing initiation yoga today. Okay. So we'll just do proper. Om Namah Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashaya Bhutale. Shrimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Dinamine Swaha Namaskar Sanskar Acharya Dhamma Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Pashtatradesha Tarine Swaha Krishna Bhutale, Shri Mate Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Dinamine, Swaha Gidam Parma Guru Vedam Namaha. So, just to keep it simple, we're, for Prabhupada, we're saying Samstapaka Acharya, I mean the founder Acharya, and Bhakti Siddhanta is Parma Guru. Of course, so if you're initiated by Prabhupada's grand disciples, then actually Prabhupada is a Param Guru. But to keep it simple and you know in the future how many generations of gurus they're going to be, uh, we'll just keep it the Prabhupada as Founder Acharya yes. and and Bhaktisanda as Parama Guru. It just makes it simpler. Um, so you can also see the fire has started to go down. Like yeah. the first the wood that we put in the originally has, has burnt out. So it would be a good time for your okay. assistant to add some wood to the fire. When you add wood, also do it from different angles so the fire burns evenly. If you put all the wood on one side, <coughs> it'll only burn on that side. Uh, so he can do that as we continue. Okay. And you notice I'm starting with Om every time. Yeah. Uh, it's better because then everyone kind of catches when you're starting oh, okay. and they'll all chant together. If you just start with Nama Om, someone, most people will miss the first syllable, first word even. So it's Om, it's clear, now we're going to start the mantra, so everyone will chant it together. So please, though it's not particularly mentioned here, just as a practice, we'll start with Om for every mantra. Om Shri Varshamana Devi Daita Yakripabdhaye Krishna Sambandha Vijnana Daine Prabhave Namaha Swaha Nitam Paramana Shri Gaura Karuna Shakti Vikrahaya Namasude Swaha Om Namaste Gaura Bani Shri Murtae Dinatarine 
ध्रुवाुगा विरुद्धापिदर्वाणे स्वाहाय साक्षात वैराग्यमूर्त विप्रलंब संबोधे परम भुजाते नम स्वाम परम परे नम नम सचिदानंदनामे गौरशक्ति रूपाये स्वाद महागुरव नम नम ओं गौरा विर्भाव भूमेस्व निर्देष्ट सज्जन प्रिया वैष्णव सर्वौम श्री जगन्नायाते नम स्वाद परमेश्वरी गुरव नम नम कल्पतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्यता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम स्वाम सर्वैष्णवेभ्यो इदम नम ओं नम महावदान्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नातिशे नम स्वाम नम नम पंचतत्वात्मक कृष्ण भक्तस्वकम भक्तावतारम भक्ताख्यम नमा भक्त शक्ति स्वामे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीन बंधो जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांता राधा कांता नमस्ते स्वाय नम ंगोर्म मंदमतिर्गति मतसर्वस्वापदाज राधा मदन मोहन स्वादिदेवनमोहनाय श्रीमद्रत्नागार सिंहासनस्थ श्रीमद्राधाशीलगोविंदो प्रेषाश्रीमदारंभी वंशी भटतलस्थिता कर्षण वेम स्वर गोपी गोपीनाथ श्रीयस्तुना स्वाहादेव गोपीनाथाय इदम नम ओम तप्त Because we're doing the first one, I just want to explain things as we go on. You notice I'm not referring to the paper, so pretty much none of you would really need to refer to the paper except maybe for the swaha idam, uh, yeah. the personality. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it looks so much better as a hotri if you're not, <laughs> you know the mantras by heart. You don't have to refer to paper. If you're sitting here like this, you know it just <laughs> it shows that you don't really know the mantras. So these mantras you do know for sure. All of you did yeah. the test. You know Mangalasha. So keep it, you know, maybe to the side. And just refer to it when you really need to. Swaha idam panchadatva idam namama. Even that, very quickly you'll catch. Panchadatva mantra. It's panchadatva. Yeah. You know, namo mahavadanya. It's for Goranga. It's simple. A little practice, you'll catch it. Maybe you just for these few ones that are a bit longer, you can refer. It. Just, you know, just glance to the paper and and do it. So you want to avoid like holding the paper and you know, it just doesn't look very professional. Om Tapta Kanchan Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari. ऋषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय स्वादिदाधिकाइम नम ओं जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैतराधर श्रीवासादिगौरवर्तवृंद स्वाद पंचतवायम नम ओं हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे स्वाम राधाकृष्ण ओं भूर्भुवस्वाम नारायण नम ओं भूर्भुवस्वाम 
And so now, just like we uh, we put water around the fire in the beginning, so we do it again now. But the first one is around, and then the rest of the same one, two, three. So this is the time when everyone has to stand up, and generally, like initiates or even whoever's participating, they'll have some grains and banana with them. So this is the time for the offering. Uh, the last item, especially the banana. Often what happens is people want to empty their whole, whatever's left on their plate of grains in the fire. Yes. But normally I avoid that because if there are a lot of people and the fire is not big, it will just extinguish the fire. So you can just tell them, keep your plate down, take your banana, and, and that's enough. Or just a normal amount of grains. So Hotri has to fill up, this is where the, we use the larger spoon. So you can fill it up like this also, but it takes a while. So you can just, as long as it's not too hot, but it's not too hot, you can just fill up the whole, uh, both spoons like this. When you're, when it's time to stand up, you have to be careful that it's not dripping. Like that. <laughs> so if it's too full, you don't want to drip on the floor, you can keep it on top of the pot so it drips inside the pot, back inside the pot. This is the point of hearty, so also the, your, Normally we have a special plate with you know more grains and camphor and you can offer different things, cloth and dried fruits and make a very nice opulent plate. We have a few ingredients but I think they're still packed away, we'll get them out tomorrow. So you can offer the banana some grains and the camphor. More on the plate. Mm -hmm. yeah. So here we just chant the more money there, which everyone also knows hopefully. Ring the bell. No. Om no Brahman Nitaya Go Brahman Nitaya Cha Jagat Nitaya Krishnaya Go Vindaya Nama Nama so, so this is some, the, the elegant way of offering it is you just let the ghee come out naturally and empty this one also into the bigger spoon and it'll all just pour out. And you can see the fire does really comes up. Does come up, yeah. Yeah, you can go ahead. So when I chant, yeah, when I chant Swaha and Sapuring Ghee, then the other participants, the, they also the assistant, it. they can also place their items in the fire. Oh. In Gurukul, they did the huge thing, right, with the... They did mm. do like this Sunday? Yeah, the, the big one. Yeah. Uh, big fire. Yeah, so that's, that's powdered frankincense. Yeah, there's a whole technique to get it to blow up. <laughs> uh, if you're in someone's house or something, <laughs> probably avoid it. Here we could actually, we could do it, we have space, but that's just a extra thing it's not you know, part of the ritual okay and then purnamada yeah om purnamada purnamidam purna purna mudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vishishyate om shanti 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 so this last mantra is forgiveness mantra if we did oh. some mistakes naturally we you know we're full of false in kali yuga so we may have chanted the mantras not very well we may have we did it we need some ingredients, maybe it weren't perfect. Huh? Yeah, so we chant the forgiveness mantra, asking the Lord to please forgive our mistakes, which we may have performed during the Agya. Shri Krishna Samaranam Karomi Om Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So a couple of things happen at these last mantras. One is we make the tilak. So the assistant can do that as the, you know, Angahi Ram and Purnama are going on. And the Hotri will... Okay, I just take it from there. Yeah, you know it. Then we'll use this Varnapad as a blessing. Uh, so you take your leaves upside down, because that's the easy way to spray, you know, to sprinkle it. And as we're chanting Hare Krishna, the last mantras, mm -hmm. you can even just walk around. Say if there's a big crowd, you can just walk around and sprinkle a little water on everyone. It's a blessing. Haribo, Haribo, Haribo. Don't leave body now. <laughs> Right here. Family. This is uh, this is uh, not burned properly. So don't you know, don't keep your coconut on the ground. Keep it somewhere nice, and you can put it back also afterwards. 
And yeah, this is the time when everyone will circumambulate, do kirtan. And, uh, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. How to take out the. It got burned. Huh? The assistant's job is to make the tilak. Just get some ash. A little bit of ash and crush it. No problem. And you need to add some ghee. Now, of course, if I put this spoon inside the ghee, then it's all going to be mixed with prashad. We need to use this ghee again. So you can just use it from the lamp. And then you have to mix it up to a smooth consistency. the Agya Tilak Prashad that uh, I was referring to. It's probably okay now. It could be quite hot also. Does the system? Yeah. Assistant job. Assistant job. If you're alone, then you have to do it. And then just with the ring fingers, just in the center of the Tilak like that. Ah. If you have a big crowd and lots of Mataji's, you can get one of the ladies to do it for the ladies. If you're, you know, like yeah, more appropriate. Like this also. And since it's already 1.50, let's not uh, <laughs> not delay, so we should just pack up, clean up, take everything downstairs, and we can go for Pujad. But basically this is the, you know, default kind of very simple yagya. And, you know, from, I thought, I was hoping we'd have enough time today for everyone to have a go, but we'll have to start bright and early tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, so tomorrow you can all, it'll take some time to get the flow, but... No, no, no. Oh, one question. Uh, the bell has only that by the time of installation <laughs> yeah. or yeah. chanting this mantra, no bell? No. Okay. Just when you the installation time. Okay. Okay? So anyway, this <laughs> is the first day. We have three <laughs> solid days <laughs> to practice. <laughs> and let's clean up quickly. And take everything downstairs. After the last offering, um, that's it, kind of, you get this over. A lot of people like to come and throw things later on also, but it's, you know, it's finished. So the old ladies like to come, you know, but it's waha, the last waha, then that's it. Everything's so hard. And also then, that's also sometimes with a lot of fruits like this, people want to start grabbing the fruits. Mm. And it looks oh. really kind of <laughs> inappropriate, you know, people just coming up and especially kids, they want to grab the best fruits and run off. It kind of spoils the whole atmosphere. So better you have yourself, you can collect the fruits and put them on a tray and give them out in a peaceful manner. Oh. You don't want people coming here and like dumping and stealing things. It looks very, you know, not, not nice. So those are some practical things to uh, consider.